Hey guys, welcome back to Interview with the Viewers. It's Bella and Marlon. Today we will be interviewing track star Kylie Richardson about her experience as a freshman on the track team. Hey guys, so we're with Kylie Richardson. So we're going to ask her some questions about her everyday life with track being involved and her backstory, I guess. So um, how did you get involved with track? I got involved in track in eighth grade when some friends thought I should do it because I had just quit soccer and I really liked running and I was kind of good at it. And I decided to give it a shot and I've liked it ever since. That's cool. Um, how, like, how did you get involved with soccer? Um, I started off in first grade with soccer once Ella joined, which is my sister. She joined and I thought it looked cool, so I decided to join and I did it until I was 12, 13. Hmm. Um, so uh, with joining track, did you feel welcome as a freshman and like what was the environment? I felt very welcome because I did off season for a couple months before during summer when they had that open to us. So I knew some of the people there unlike some of the other freshmen that were there that didn't know anybody. So I felt very welcomed with only knowing, with knowing some of the older kids and them teaching me everything pretty much and being ready for spring season when it came around. That's pretty nice. Um, so what strengths do you believe make you like a great athlete? Um, I think one of my strengths is like, I don't try and bring everyone else down. Like on a team, I could try and like build them up and make them a better athlete by themselves. Cause it's not just me. Yes, track is an inv individual sport, but we're all together and we're still doing all these events to get like a name for our school. And so I try and like build others up <laughs> and <laughs> be positive. Do you, do you feel that that positivity is spread throughout the team with everybody else? Yeah, I think everyone's very positive for each other, and we all want the best for everyone. And we want everyone to do the best they can, get the best times. You know, we all just want to be good together. That's, like, what a team is. It's a family. That's just how it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you believe is, are your biggest weakness? I think my biggest weakness is my mentality sometimes because I just – I have this mental block sometimes or where I just think I'm not as good as I can be and it really sometimes affects me and it like makes me stressed or make me angry sometimes it makes me sad and I feel like that comes a lot with sprinters or in like running in general because a lot of it is mental it's not just physical a lot of it is mental and you have to be like prepared for that and making sure you have that also while running do you like think like that like before you start running sometimes yes because it's very nerve-wracking because like you got the whole gun and everything just kind of like builds up and so everyone gets a little nervous but then once you start running everything kind of just disappears and you kind of just go with it and so i feel that sometimes but most of the time it's usually like the practice before the big day or something like that or maybe a couple minutes before that's when i start like Okay, I can't do this. I can't do this, but in reality, I can. You, how do you push through that bad mentality? Um, every time before a race, I um pray because I'm Christian, and I also like talk to people around me in like the heats behind me or the people in front of me, and I just kind of like try and take my mind off it a little bit and kind of feel like lighter, I say, and not like so scared. So I talk to people around me making sure like everyone else is good like asking hey can you put my blocks and so like, getting to know everyone around me and who I'm running with too also helps with the environment with different schools too just getting to know each other a little bit because most people are in the same races together so just knowing a person's name even helps a little bit like, who is there like somebody that you stick to on that team that also makes you feel better and uplift your your feelings, I guess. <laughs> yes, I would say my stretching partner, Tabitha Musangali. <laughs> yes, she always is so positive with everything she does. And, like, she doesn't care if she gets last or first. She doesn't care. It's just she always has this positive attitude towards everyone. And it kind of is just, like, uplifting. And it helps because it, like, relieves your nerves a little bit. And you're like, yeah, like, somebody's rooting for me. Somebody's on my team. You know? It just yeah. helps. Okay, so how does – um. How does track affect like your everyday life? Track affects my everyday life with, it helps with a lot of like, yes, my mental stuff, but it also keeps me in shape and make sure like I get my steps in for the day. <laughs> <laughs> and if I had like a bad day at school or something, it helps me kind of get my anger out and stress out. And it just, it's kind of like a reliever for me. And it's like a coping mechanism for like school because school can be very difficult and tiring and draining. 
and that really just helps with it with everybody and running all of it just helps mm -hmm. um so along with that everyday life like how does it affect your school life or your, like your grades it doesn't really affect all of my grades some of my grades yes if I have like a lot of homework one night or something and I get out of practice late sometimes it affects it but most of the time it doesn't unless I have like a meet or something and I don't get home until like seven o'clock at night but most of the time it's pretty good and it's pretty balanced with each other mm -hmm. um. <laughs> I, I need a burp. <laughs> <laughs> I need a burp or something. Take a little break. Refresh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for our last few questions, we want to ask you some fun questions to bring some life, I guess. <laughs> bring some excitement. Okay. Um, so um, if you could choose a different spring sport or just like a sport in general, like what would you pick? Um, A spring sport, I would have to do soccer because I know it the best. And it's just the girls on the team and stuff are really nice, too. So most of them, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> and um, their environment's pretty good, too, I would say. Uh, but if I had to pick a different sport in general, honestly, I'd probably just do golf or something. <laughs> I would want to try something I've never even done before. Yeah. Something a little bit easier, I guess. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> <laughs> um, so if you could be, like, any track <laughs> equipment or something, like, what would you be? <laughs> I would be a baton because they're <laughs> shiny <laughs> and they're important Important. and they're just awesome. Or I'd be spikes because they're cool and like no other sport has them really. What are spikes? Um, they're running shoes <laughs> that sprinters have to wear to run on your toes. I oh, have them okay. and they're my best friends. Their names are Vanessa. <laughs> <laughs> That's something new. Just kidding. It's Gerald. <laughs> <laughs> it actually is Gerald because, you know. I love Gerald. Yeah. Gerald gets me through my races. <laughs> Great name. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, those are all our questions. Uh, thank you so much for... It is my pleasure <laughs> for joining us on this podcast and talking a little bit about track. You are so welcome. I, it's been a pleasure to work with you ladies. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, guys, thank you so much for listening to our podcast. Make sure to check out our new releases on Interview, Interview with, with the, the Viewers. viewers. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>